Welcome to Really Fun Math with Miss Colvang. Okay guys, so here's the deal. I don't have um, ink in my printer, so I went ahead and I just wrote out this worksheet and I'm uploading this as a PDF. But basically, I think earlier in the year when we did um, integers with counters, the goal was for us to understand them a little bit better. But next year, like in reality, you're probably not just gonna pull out counters every time you are trying to deal with integer operations. And so I'm trying to show you sort of some faster ways and some more, I don't know, I guess like intuitive ways to figuring out um, just basic integer operations. So integer addition and subtraction, because I think when you do it with counters, while that can be really helpful, it can also confuse certain things. And then when you go to like solving equations and inequalities, um, knowing these tricks also just might be a little bit I don't know, more beneficial for next year, I think. So um, here's sort of equivalent operations. And this is something that's just been blowing some people's minds because to be honest, like we really have a hard time saying like, oh, I know I'm adding something, but that's really the same as subtraction because we like to think that those are opposite operations, but it depends on what kind of number you're adding. So here's kind of the key. Um, anytime you're adding a positive number, Okay, you're adding a positive, that is actual addition. So if you're adding like three, okay, well, it's gonna get three larger, move three to the right. Okay, however, if you're adding a negative, okay, we wanna think like, hey, that's addition, so it should be getting bigger. But if you're adding a negative, it's actually operating like subtraction, okay, which is kind of weird. It's like when you're adding debt, when you're adding a negative, it's actually moving the value to the left, okay? So you can think of adding a negative and subtracting a positive as equivalent operations. They both are basically subtraction. And that's where people get thrown off. It's like, oh, there's a plus sign there. Well, yeah, but if you're adding a negative, it, it acts the same as subtraction. If you're subtracting a positive, it acts the same as subtraction. And it's actually easier in problems than it is up here. So same thing with subtracting a negative. We're like, well, we're subtracting, so it's definitely got to get smaller. But if you're subtracting a negative you're actually adding to the quantity, okay? So again, equivalent operations. Anytime you're adding a negative or subtracting a positive, it is actually subtraction. But when you're adding a positive or subtracting a negative, that's acting as addition. So here's how this works, okay? And again, you saw this as a PDF. I think I'm just gonna go through and do the left side, or actually probably just do a couple, okay? But for example, seven minus eight, if you were trying to do that on a number line, seven minus eight, you always are gonna start with the first number, okay? So I'm gonna start here, put a little star there, positive seven. And on my number line, notice this is a very basic number line. I have zero positives and negative numbers, okay? So we don't need to like count out specifically, you know, or you can, I don't know, I guess it's up to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's where we're starting, right? Positive seven. Okay, I'm starting on positive seven and I'm taking away eight, or I'm going eight to the left, okay, because this is subtraction. So it means I'm gonna go left this many units. So if I go eight units to the left, I'm going all the way to zero, but I'm going one past zero. And one past zero is negative one. Okay, and you're probably like, yeah, yeah, I've seen that before, right? Seven minus eight, okay, well, I'm starting with seven, but I'm taking eight away, so I'm gonna take away all of these seven, but then I gotta take away one more, which is gonna get me to negative one. And it's a very similar process for this, so negative three plus nine, okay? We start with a number on the left, so here's negative three, so one, two, three, and again, you don't always have to like draw that in, but that's just where we're starting. And I'm adding nine. Well, addition means I'm moving right on the number line nine units. So I'm gonna go three here, that was three, to get to zero, right? And then I gotta go nine total, so I've already gone three. That means I gotta go six more, and I've added nine. So six more, I've gone three to get from negative three to zero, and I'm gonna go six more to get to positive six, because that's going to be nine total. 
So that's how I ended up at positive six. Now this is the kind that really messes people up, okay? Negative two minus negative five. Don't worry about this. Just treat minus a negative as addition. Just rewrite it as addition, okay? Minus a negative is addition. Because what that allows you to do is do the exact same process we've been doing. Start at negative two. and go five units to the right. Because again, it's basically addition. Addition tells me we're moving to the right, however many units, okay? So instead of thinking, oh, I'm taking away debt, or oh, I'm um, having to do a zero box with counters, just say to yourself, oh shoot, I'm taking away a negative, or I'm subtracting a negative, it's just like I'm adding that, okay? And I'm not adding a negative, I'm adding five. Okay, we're going to get rid of both of those signs next to each other and just turn them into a big plus sign. And then we're going to treat it like we did the one before. So negative 2 plus 5. Okay, I'm at negative 2. I have to move 5 units to the right. So I'm going to go 2 to get to 0. And then I'm going to go 3 more. And that's where I'm going to get to stop at positive 3. So negative 2 plus 5 gives me positive 3. Okay, and this is the process that you're probably going to want to be doing next year. You're not going to have to go through with counters. If you see two negatives next to each other, turn it into addition. If you see a positive and a negative next to each other, just turn that into subtraction. It's basically subtraction. Okay, so what would you do? You'd start at negative three, one, two, three, to the left, minus eight. So I'm going to go left because, again, it's acting as subtraction, 8 units. So I'm going to go left, 8 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's going to leave me at negative 11. Okay, so really think to yourself, what is going on here? Okay, if I'm adding a negative, that's really subtraction. If I'm subtracting a positive, that's really subtraction. Okay, so again, addition, you move right. Subtraction, you move left. Okay, we're going to continue to practice this over the next couple weeks because I feel like integer operations in addition to fractions are one of those things that we still are struggling with. But just practice around with this a little bit. Go through. I've left you six problems to try to do on your own, and I am going to upload a... Um, assignment link on Google Classroom so that if you show me the work that you did and you show me your number lines, you are going to be able to get assignment credit toward your grade. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Again, we're going to be doing more of this and practicing this so that hopefully everybody can be super solid on it moving forward next year. But practice these problems, get me that assignment if you can, and then you have a quizzes you're going to practice on Friday. Thanks for watching.